again, what we're going to do is spray the the wet bed incorrectly in the correctly. So let me just slip this over my mic really fast here. Okay, hopefully everybody can hear me okay. And I've got the the wet bed here spraying out of a Devilbus DVI. And I'm gonna grab my hose. Now what we're going to see first is the, the product spray too wet. And then I will demonstrate a, a properly sprayed film, okay? All right, so I've got my gun here. Check out my air. All right, and here we go. So this would be considered too wet. Now I'm going to spray correctly on the top. Okay, so what you're seeing now, and I'll try to turn this a little bit, you can see the bottom is cloudy. Now it shows a much more cloudy in person, but nevertheless, I think you can see the contrast from a correctly applied wet bed to an incorrectly applied wet bed. Way too wet, too milky. We want to go close and fast. By doing that, we achieve a nice, uniform, closed coat that's wet enough to accept our overspray. It's pretty much clear. A little milkiness is normal, but you don't want to overload the wet bed, okay? All right, I'm gonna set the gun back down over here. Take my helmet off really quick. All right, so we see the difference in spraying the wet bed correctly versus incorrectly. We don't want a heavy milky film. The wet bed should look Pretty much clear, a tiny little milkiness is okay, but it shouldn't be really, really heavily milky, nor should it be overly dry. It should be a closed, thin, wet coat.